With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello students, let's start the question. An organic compound A with a molecular weight 180 is acylated with CH3COCl, that's ethanol chloride, yes, to get an acylated compound of molecular weight 390. What is the number of amino groups present per molecule of the compound A? Now, as you can understand from this question, we have a compound A whose molecular weight, weight is 180 units. And that has been acylated with the help of CH3COCl, yes. And we get an acylated compound. So we can understand that it's going to be acylated in this manner, yes. And the weight becomes 390. Now, the question is what is the number of amino groups? Which actually indicates that there is an amino group attached on this A compound, which is going to get acylated, okay. So if at all, you consider say like this one NH2 group is getting acylated. What would be the result? It's going to be NH dash C double bond O CH3. Okay. Now let us count. Count in the sense, let us calculate. This is 180. Yes. Okay. And how much is, is this NHCO CH3 unit? Yes. So let us calculate. N is going to be 14 plus hydrogens is 1 plus 3, 4, total 4 hydrogens, 2 carbons, so that makes it 12 to the 24, yes, and 1 oxygen atom is 16, so that is going to be 18 plus uh, 24 plus 16, and that makes it 40, so the total is 58 units, okay, and this single NH2 unit over here is how much, 14 plus 2, 16 units only single NH2 yes so the difference is 58 minus 16 and that is how much 42 units in short there is a difference of 42 units for every NH2 unit getting acylated yes so what we got to find out 390 is the total yes and that is the total molecular weight so let us do this 42 units is the difference per NH2 unit. So in that case, 390 minus 180, that is going to be 1 and 2, 210. Okay, so the difference between the product and the reactant is 210 units. Okay, and 42 units is the difference per NH2 unit. Yes, so therefore, the number of NH2 units will be equal to the total difference divided by the difference per NH2 unit, and that is going to be how much? 7 6 are 7 3 are, so that's 5. So that means there are 5 NH2 units which will be getting acylated. In short, compound A is containing 5 NH2 units. Hence, in that case, we have our option number 1 to be marked as the correct answer. I hope you understood the explanation. Thank you. For class 6 to 12, ITG and NEET level. Trusted by more than 5 crore students. Download Doubt and App today.